Hello and welcome to this video tutorial today. We're looking at creating stars in Photoshop 2021. Now, it seems to be a common theme for my videos lately to be complaining about things Adobe has done to Photoshop and this video can just join the club because Adobe has made some significant changes to Photoshop which impact the way that we draw stars. So typically when I think of drawing a star, one of the first things that I'll do is go to the custom shape tool. So when I go to the custom shape tool and open up the custom shapes that are available in Photoshop 2021, this is what I find. There are custom shapes for leaves, wild animals, boats and flowers and that's all. There are no custom shapes that are the kind of shapes that we're used to seeing in Photoshop. Now your initial temptation might be to go to this gear icon and go, oh yes, append default shapes, let's go and do that. Well, this is going to be a total disaster because look what happens. You just add back in another version of leaf trees, wild animals, boats and flowers. So that's exactly what you don't want to do. So don't go mess up your shapes panel like I just did by doing that. Now in the past, Photoshop had the shapes option under the edit menu. You go to edit and then presets and preset manager. And then you would select here and shapes would be here. Well, shapes and patterns and gradients and all of those have been moved to their own individual dialogue. So you will only find contours and tools left here. So that begs the question, where are the shapes? Well, the shapes are back in the window menu. So let's go to window and here is shapes. Here is our shapes panel complete with all the sets of shapes that I just added and didn't need or want. So I'm just going to right click these and delete the group so that I just clean up the mess I just made to my shapes panel. But we didn't come here just to clean up the mess I made of my shapes panel. We came here to find the old shapes. Well, here on the flyout menu is an option that's legacy shapes and more. So if I click here, we're going to add back in the legacy shapes, the shapes that we've had in previous versions of Photoshop. They all come into a folder. Well, it's actually a whole heap of folders. Here are our 2019 shapes and here are our all legacy default shapes. And there's heaps of them. So that begs the question, where are our stars. Well, our stars are here in the shapes area. So here is access to the star shapes. I don't need this panel any longer. I prefer to use this option up here. It's the one I'm used to. So let's go to the flyout menu because now our legacy shapes are here. We're going to all legacy default shapes and we're going to open up the shapes collection and we're going to click or locate the stars. Now we have a couple of stars here. We have a five pointed star there is an eight pointed star and there's sort of a multi pointed star if you like, but that's all we've got. But let's go to the five pointed star. Now this is the filled version. This one here is not filled. It's got a edge effect. So it's going to be a sort of thick border with a hollow inside. So just make sure you pick the right star. I want a filled star. I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to start drawing it out. Obviously you add the shift key so it's constrained to its original proportions. And now we have a star shape. You can see I've got shape selected here. If you didn't have shape selected here, then you would have either a path or filled pixels. But I wanted a star shape so I made sure that shape is selected as the option here when I'm using the shape tool. So there's our five pointed star. Let's just bring it back in. And we could also do our eight pointed star. Back to custom shape tool, back to the shapes collection. Here is our eight pointed star. This is the fill version. Let's go to the one that's just a sort of outlined version here. Now before I put this in the document, I'm going to add a new layer for it. So let's just go to the layers panel and let's add a new layer for this star. I'm going to draw it in, holding the shift key to constrain it. Here you can see that this is very different in that the filled area is this outside edge and the inside of this is hollow and is going to remain hollow. So when I hold it over this one, you can see that it's hollow. You can't fill that middle with this particular star. Of course, you could choose the different type of star, this one here that is a filled shape and then it's going to draw out differently. So just be aware of that. But right now we can do a five pointed star, we can do an eight pointed star, we can do something that looks like a multi pointed star. 
but where is something like a seven pointed star? Well, to do that, you're going to have to do it yourself. And for this, we're going to go to the polygon tool. So let's go here to the polygon tool. Up here is the number of sides. So we're going to make a seven pointed star. Let's type seven in here. We're going to click on the gear icon because that allows us to turn a box, a seven sided box into a star. So you're going to have by default most likely a star ratio of zero. So let's just see what that draws. That's drawing a seven sided shape. But if we go back here and this time do a star ratio of, for example, 25%, we're going to get something different. This time we're going to get a star. Now, if you're used to, on older versions of Photoshop, making a selection of a percentage here, you'll know that that would have given you a much shallower star. Here it's giving you a deep star. So 25% is a really deep star. If you choose something like 75%, then you're going to get a really shallow star. So just be aware that that may not work the way that you expect it to. Now, the beauty of this is that these are live shapes. So if you want to make changes to them, you can do so. You'll go to the Properties panel. Let's just go to Window and Properties and open the Properties panel because this bit me earlier today. The issue here is that it seems like this is the appearance options for the star and these are the transform options. Well, if your dialogue here is not long enough, you'll find that there's a whole lot of stuff missing in the appearance that you can't see, it's just there. So let's just roll it up. And here we have selectors for the number of points on a star. So we can actually, with the star selected, we can make changes to it. So we can give it more or less points here. We can also adjust the 75% ratio. So if we want it to be less, we can make it less. Well, there's a 1% that was rather spectacular. You will have to tab away or select in another box to see the result of the choice that you made. It's live, but it's not that live. It's sort of half live. Okay. And then you can have smooth star indents as well. So you're getting this sort of inside loopy thing and controlling the points. Let me just get back to something like 11 points where we can actually see what's happening. If you increase this value here, you're going to get rounded ends. So let's just increase that to 20 and tab away. And so we're going to get sort of rounded ends on the shape. So there's the option of making a whole variety of star shapes here using the polygon tool. You just need to know how to do it. You need to know that there's plenty in the appearance panel that may not be apparent when you first look at it. You need to know that you have the ability to make changes to the star even after you've drawn it, including the number of points and also the depth of those points, knowing that 75% is a very shallow star and 25% is a very deep star. So I hope that this has helped you understand how you can make stars in Photoshop. This video came about as a result of a viewer bemoaning the fact that stars were difficult to make in Photoshop. So I thought, oh, I'll just come and make a video. And then all of a sudden I was confronted with the fact that things have changed. And this is how you're going to solve the problems of Adobe having made significant changes to how Photoshop works. Now, before we finish off this video, I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends, and coworkers. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.